Is it the right time to buy or sell Lucid stock? In this video, we will take a deep dive into Lucid. We previously published a report on our website on Wednesday, January 31, 2024. Now, we are back with an even more detailed analysis for you. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest analysis. You wouldn't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investment decisions. Enhance your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, available at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of January 31, 2024, our system has identified Lucid as a sell candidate, with a score of minus 3.81. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this specific period. Moving forward, we'll be closely monitoring this evaluation to see how it develops in the upcoming days. This stock is currently experiencing a significant downward trend in the short term, and it is expected to continue falling. Based on the past three months, there is a potential decrease of 24.06% in the next three months, with a projected return between minus 45.11% and minus 0.541%. Looking at the 12-month trend, we can expect a decrease of 57.82% over the next year, with a possible return between minus 79.37% and minus 42.86%. This means that the stock's price range could be between $0.697 and $1.93 after a year. Our latest update on Lucid brings you the headline, Big Movements in Lucid Stock Price on Wednesday, with a 12.54% difference between the high and low. On Wednesday, the Lucid stock price experienced a decrease of 2.31%, going from $3.46 to $3.38. Throughout the trading day, the stock fluctuated by 12.54%, reaching a low of $3.35 and a high of $3.77. Over the past two weeks, the price has shown a gain of 21.58%, displaying a period of ups and downs. It's worth noting that the decrease in volume on the last day aligns with the stock's decline, which is generally considered a positive sign. Specifically, the trading volume decreased by 37 million shares, while a total of 63 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to approximately $214.01 million. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price for Lucid stock was $13.04, while the lowest price was $2.54. Currently, the price stands at $9.66, or 74.08%, below the 52-week high. Furthermore, it is $61.48, or 94.79%, below the all-time high which occurred on February 18, 2021, when the price reached $64.86. Today, let's take a look at some recent analyst ratings for LCID. On Monday, November 27, 2023, it was reported that Needham gave LCID a reduced grade with a downgrade action. On Wednesday, November 8, 2023, Guggenheim rated LCID as neutral with a hold action. RBC Capital also weighed in on LCID on November 8, 2023, giving it a sector perform grade with a hold action. Cantor Fitzgerald joined the discussion on November 8, 2023, with a neutral grade and a downgrade action for LCID. Going back to September 8, 2023, RBC Capital initiated coverage on LCID with a sector perform grade. Analysts have given Lucid stock a general rating of sell. They consider the PE ratio and price to book as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts give the stock a rating of strong sell. Lucid has shown several important signals. The three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, has given a buy signal. However, there have also been some negative signals that could affect the short-term development. The short-term moving average indicates a buy signal for Lucid stock, while the long-term average suggests a sell signal. 
Since the long-term average is higher than the short-term average, the overall signal is negative, indicating a less favorable forecast for the stock. If the stock continues to rise, it may face resistance at the long-term moving average level of $3.74. Conversely, if the stock falls, it may find support at the short-term average of $3.05. Breaking above the long-term average would generate another buy signal, while falling below the short-term average would strengthen the sell signal. On Tuesday, January 30, 2024, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point, resulting in a 2.31% decrease so far. Further decline is expected until a new bottom pivot is found. The decrease in volume along with the price during the last trading day reduces the overall risk, as volume tends to follow price movements. Today, I want to share with you some interesting signals to consider. Let's start with the moving average convergence divergence. It's giving a buy signal. Pivots, on the other hand, are indicating a sell signal two days ago. Bollinger bands show a buy signal 32 days ago. The short-term moving average also gives a buy signal 4 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average suggests a buy signal 26 days ago. If we look at the relationship between the short and long moving averages, it indicates a buy signal 23 days ago. Now, let's analyze the 12-month chart. The short moving average shows a buy signal 4 days ago. However, the long-term moving average suggests a sell signal 128 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal 230 days ago. For more signals like these, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Today, we'll be discussing the support, risk, and stop loss levels for Lucid Motors. Lucid Motors currently has a support level at $3.37, which means that this price level may present a buying opportunity. Typically, when the support level is tested, we can expect an upwards reaction in the stock's price. However, it's important to note that Lucid Motors is considered very high risk due to its high volatility. The stock has been known to experience significant price movements throughout the day. In fact, just yesterday, the stock had a price range of $0.420 or 12.54% between its high and low points. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 14.44%. Before we discuss potential trading levels for Lucid, let's first go over some important fundamental data. The price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio, is a key metric that compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. If a company has a negative P-E ratio, it means they are either losing money or have negative earnings. Established companies can go through temporary downturns due to external factors, but consistently negative P-E ratios may indicate inadequate profitability and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on to other news, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for February 28, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for the earnings report are at dash $0.290. It's important to keep an eye on these figures as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, we'll explore the potential day trading levels for Lucid. If the market shows an upward trend, the first resistance level for Lucid is at $3.46. If you're not already invested, it might be wise to wait until this level is breached before entering a position. However, for those who already hold the stock, this could be an interesting level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Lucid encounters its first support level at $3.37. If this support holds, it could present a great entry point with the anticipation of a rebound. Lucid has received a combined average rating of sell from multiple analyst sources. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On December 29, 2023, Rawlinson Peter Dorr purchased 180,723 shares of Class A Common Stock. On December 29, 2023, Rawlinson Peter Dorr sold 180,723 shares of stock options, right to buy. On December 11, 2023, Dingra Goggin purchased 117,365 shares of Class A common stock. On December 5, 2023, 
Rawlins and Peter Dorr sold 466,751 shares of Class A common stock. On December 5, 2023, Bach Eric sold 47,096 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is positive with a ratio of 92.818. In the last 100 trades, insiders purchased 358,441,291 shares and sold 7,070,030 shares. Unfortunately, we have a negative evaluation for this stock and a stop loss has not been set. Is Lucid Stock a good buy? We have analyzed Lucid Stock and unfortunately, we have found several negative signals. As a result, we believe that it will continue to perform weekly in the upcoming days or weeks. Therefore, our evaluation of this stock is negative. We have downgraded our analysis conclusion from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture since our last evaluation. When assessing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. Looking ahead to Thursday, February 1st, we anticipate Lucid to open up at $3.50, an increase of $0.120 from its previous close. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading carries a high risk of losing money. We strongly advise you to consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions involving securities. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we're taking a closer look at the stock market. We want to hear your thoughts, do you agree or disagree with our analysis? Share your target for the stock in the comments below. And if you enjoy our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, we wish you successful trading and a beautiful day. Thanks for tuning in.